What's up, foodies? Today is Lao New Year. I just made it to the temple in Kissimmee, Florida. We're here to celebrate Lao New Year. So it's also New Year for Thailand, Cambodia, and Sri Lanka. So I just made it in time for the water festival. So this is the Sok Sokran festival. I haven't been to Lao New Year in years. Uh, last time I've been was in Philly with my family. And this is actually my first year in Florida celebrating. So this is cool. I'm really excited. I'm so happy they have it here. I actually didn't think that they did. I'm actually going to the one in Sanford next week. So I'll take you guys there as well. So let's go see what they have. I did miss the offering alms food this morning. You offer food to the monks. 2.30, they're gonna do a blessing. So the blessing begins with dripping water on the image of Buddha. Oh, so this is, I should also mention that, this is a Buddhist temple. So my family's Buddhist. So we usually go to the Buddhist temple in Philly to celebrate New Year. And New Year is usually a three-day celebration, usually around April 13th. So yeah, there's usually like a parade, there's music, there's dancing. I don't think this one has much going on today. I think Sanford actually has more. This festival was scheduled to be between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. So it's actually about 1.30. I'm gonna go see what kind of food they have because I'm starving. I unfortunately don't have any traditional Lao clothing. Uh, I usually borrow my mom's and we live in different states, so. But maybe I can buy some here. Usually vendors sell traditional Lao clothing. Um, if it's not too crazy expensive, because usually it's made out of like silk. <laughs> so, if it's not too expensive, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll buy some here. So let's go inside and see what they have. Wow, this temple actually looks really, really big. This is amazing. Wow, this property is so big. There's so many areas where you can just sit around. Look at this. So it looks like they have little areas, like little little buildings. It kind of looks like you can pray in all these little areas here. Let's go check out the food. I actually haven't eaten today yet, so I'm excited. Oh, it smells good. I smell grilled food. I'm craving papaya salad, some sausage. I want a sweet drink. <laughs> I'm gonna scope everybody out first, okay? See what they got available and then make my decisions. This stall has soup, noodle. Oh, there's a crispy crepe. Smoothies. Lemonade. Looks like they got some desserts. Not sure what these guys have. There's some drinks here. Queen's Cup. This vendor is selling plants. Ooh, kaffir lime, pandan, star fruit. Oh, my mom would like that. Pina colada, coconut water, manganata. Oh, okay. Thai curry, pad thai. Pie salad. What do these guys have? Curry. I think this is a Thai food stall. Sweet cake. That's Sweet all in Thai. Sweet I have no idea what that says. Tasty Thai treasures. Isan sausage. Sai Ua. Curry paste of pork. They got some noodles, they got boat noodles. Ooh, they got boat noodles. Mmm. And they got they got fruit teas and green teas and boba. You now I gotta get me a boba. Oh yes. You gotta go to the grilled meats down here. Somebody's grilling meats. That's where I might have to start. This vendor is selling plants. Chilies. Oh, those drinks look good. This is so cool. 
Yes. Maya's. Oh, wait. I know this vendor. This is the same vendor that was at the other festivals that I've been to. Maya's Merendia. Asian street food. Now these guys get everywhere, huh? Fried Thai bananas. Ooh. The grilled meat smells so good. Do you really want grilled meat, but I want Lao food. So I kind of want to get the Isan sausage over here. And I want papaya salad to start off with. And there's kind of a line for that stall. So there aren't too many stalls here. I thought I saw one that said had they have papaya salad, but now I can't find it. <laughs> So I think I'm going to get the Sai Oa over here and papaya salad. Dang it! Ooh. Oh, this has papaya salad. Maybe I should do the meat first. So I'm gonna get Sai Oa at the Tasty Thai Treasures and then after that I'm gonna get papaya salad. And coconut water. They don't have those like sweet drinks. It was like red and green. You would drink it in a bag with a straw. I wish they had that here. Such nostalgia. Yeah, it must say that it is at Sassy. That is happening. Yeah. Number two, yeah. Yeah, sorry. So they only had Isan sausage. I really wanted the site oil, but they only had the Isan sausage with the glass noodles in it. He actually wanted the other Isan sausage, but whatever. I'm interested to see what this one tastes like. So they had three sticks for $10, which actually is a good deal because one was $4 and I didn't want to overdo it. Okay, so this is a Thai food stall, Queen's Cup, and I wanted to get papaya salad. And I think I'm going to get a, a coconut water as well. Uh, I think I want to try the boat noodles at the other stall as well. I love boat noodles and it's really hard to find. The last time I found it was in LA. Yeah, that was like the only place that I've ever seen it. And they were really good. They take them forever. I'm gonna try this. <sighs> that was still hot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. It's sour. Mm. And there's rice in there. I think that's what makes it sour. I think the rice gets fermented. And this has glass noodles in it. Oh, wow. That is so good. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm. This is the Isan sausage. It's falling. <laughs> That's going to be really good with papaya salad. I just ordered a coconut water, but they don't have papaya salad. I, I don't know if anybody else is making oh. Thank you. So this is the coconut water. That is so refreshing and it's not sweet. I love it. Oh my God. Oh, wait, hold on. I think they have papaya salad. Oh, they have papaya salad at this one. Yes. Yes. All right, so I finally got my tamahong or somtam and uh, the women at the store were speaking Laos. So I understood everything they were saying. And the, the guy, the, I guess the batch before me, she was like, it doesn't taste good. And I was like, oh, what the heck? But she let me taste. I asked for spicy and I don't think I should have done that. Because I had spicy papaya salad the other day and like I did Lao spicy and I don't usually eat mine. It's been a while since I've eaten mine that spicy. I eat mine spicy, but I don't eat it like so spicy that I can't even eat it, right? And she gave me a taste and it's so hot. Why did I do that to myself? 
but I'm gonna eat as much as I can. So I'm gonna try to find a spot where I can sit down and eat. This is the papaya salad, the som tam or the tamahong. It's made with green papaya, fermented fish sauce, tomatoes, garlic, Thai chili. I asked for a spicy. <laughs> It's spicy, but it's not unbearable. She had me taste it and I asked for more lime, but I actually want even more lime. Like I like my really acidic, very umami with the fish sauce. Like I think it needs more fish sauce and like a little bit more sugar. But it's not bad. But I make better pie salad. This Isan sausage is so good though. It's grilled very nicely. The skin has a nice snap to it. It's a little fermented from the rice, and so it's sour, which I really, really like that. Mm. There's glass noodles in there for texture as well, which I really like. Coconut water is so refreshing. This is good, but man, I wish the, the papaya salad was better. <sighs> oh my God. Her spice is creeping up. The more you eat, the spicier it gets. It's unfortunately just okay. Somebody else was selling sugar cane juice. I think I'm gonna get one of those too. I just got sprayed with water. <laughs> I turned around so the camera would get wet. I'm walking back to get more food. <laughs> well, that was fun watching the water festival. Unfortunately, it's about 10 minutes till this festival's over and I think everybody's about done. So I wonder if I'll be able to even get anything. I had to get fried Thai bananas. Those look so good. Sorry right, guys, this festival is pretty much over. Unfortunately, the stall that was selling the boat noodles already left. All I really have is some grilled meats from the street food vendor. And then I got a drink. I got a jasmine green tea with cantaloupe at one of the drink stalls. And I have fried banana. So I got chicken intestines. Oh, they laid low this up and pork skewers. I think the pork is already cold. So I have all of their sauces. There's a soy chili, a sweet chili, and a vinegar. So let's start with the chicken intestines. Let's try it without the sauces first. I'm pretty sure she grilled these for me. Like they heat them up, but they're still cold. <laughs> it's a little chewy. They're kind of dry. Let's dip it in the sauce. Mmm. The vinegar is good. And then they also gave me rice for free. Mmm. 
a basic white rice that's fine let's dip it in the sweet chili mmm that's good too and the soy mmm that one kind of tastes like vinegar as well mm. that one was a little crispy damn if i had known i was gonna miss the boat noodles i would have got boat noodles first i should eat this with my papaya salad what a beautiful day this was fun i should have came earlier but i also didn't know what was going on when I was first looking up any celebrations in the area, like I knew there was this temple here. I didn't see that they were having any celebrations. And then my hairdresser told me. <laughs> oh, that's so good. This is the jasmine green tea cantaloupe. Delicious. I love jasmine green tea. That is so good. So good. I wanted boba, but they really didn't have anything left. They had strawberry popping boba. And I don't like popping boba. But I'm fine with just the green tea. Mmm. It's a nice chew to it. These three skewers, it's $14. Kind of expensive. These festivals be expensive. The drink was $8, it's not that bad. The drinks weren't too bad. My coconut water was $7. The pie salad was 10. The bananas was five. Mm. This is the pork. That's good. A bit. It's nice and smoky. Oh, I know it's tender. Mmm. That hits the spot. I love pork. Mmm. I'm having a good old time right here. See, the papaya salad is good when you have some meat to eat it with. That's a gigantic piece. All right, let's do the sweet chili. That piece was so fatty. <laughs> but fat is yummy. Fat is flavor, fat is juicy. I think out of all the sauces, my favorite is the the pink vinegar one. Mm. Here's the soy sauce. Mm. No, where's it in? No, get out. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that one's like soy sauce, vinegar, chili. I don't like that one as much as the other ones. It's been nice that they have this here. I'm so happy Florida has it. It's way different than the one in Philly. We have like a parade or live band or dancing. It's like super chill here. Wow, oh, this is so good. It is sweet. I probably should have did 50% sweet. It's really good because it's sweet though. <laughs> 
You can really taste the tea flavor. I'm just gonna enjoy this, enjoy the weather. I'm sitting under some beautiful trees. Actually, I'm gonna try the bananas for you guys. Oh, that drink is so addictive. He did give me a lot of bananas. Fried Thai banana. Mmm. Mmm. Thai bananas are so good. They're starchier than American banana. It has like a tropical, it really does not taste like an American banana. It's like sweet, but in like a different way. Almost like, I don't know, pandan or something. So good. And that outer batter, it's sweet. There's sesame seeds in there, so they're, it's a little nutty. Really, really good. It's so crispy too. Oh, yeah. mm. And the texture of the banana is not mushy. It still holds together pretty well. Kind of reminds me almost like a plantain. But it's like in, the, in between a plantain and an American banana. Alright guys, I'm going to enjoy my food and I'm going to head home. I had a wonderful time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Which food items would you try? Happy New Year. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you click the notification bell for more food content. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!